Yeah, we're just about to come over a mark where I saw some fish sitting above a bait score on the bottom in about 30 metres. My laws are at 10. If I can't catch one trolling, I'll come back with the jig. Oh, we got a double, we got a double. Right, uh, get this one in first. Let's get both of these fish, come on. Knew they had to be here somewhere. We're we still hooked on this one. Yep, we are hooked on both fish. Right, uh, we want to get both these fish to the boat. Still got the boat in gear. Forward motion. I'll let that one sit there for a bit. This one's in closer. Try and get this one to the boat first. That's what we wanted. Get away from the other boat and find the fish. Other line's still hooked up. He can run a bit. I love when there's a double hook up like that. It's fantastic. That guy wants to run, he's still hooked. We'll make sure we don't get some crossover here. Turn the boat around a bit. Try and get this guy boat side. Which way is he going to run? I'll try and get him up here. It's a good spanner, I reckon. This is the hard part solo. The bail arm. There we go, first fish. We'll get that one in the boat. Oh, that's fantastic, eh? <laughs> you gotta love when you get two fish. I'm gonna land both these fish. Oh, how much fun is that? Right, get in boat side. Two Spanish, that's what we want. Troll on the hard body lures. Obviously ran over at school. Yes, two from two, you beauty. Not big fish, but still nothing like getting two fish to the boat. When you're fishing by yourself, that's an awesome achievement. I love it, let's go and get some more. Made a massive mess of the boat. <laughs> There's just blood everywhere. <laughs> but you gotta love it when you can get two fish to the boat like that. And there they are. One's a bit chunkier than the other. Two nice Spanish there. Ah, oh, that was good. Only been trolling for about 10, 15 minutes and didn't take long to get a good bite then on the deep law and the shallow one. So I'll put those laws out again and see if we get another hit and do the same circle. Well, that was an unexpectedly good start. You don't always get two from two when you get a double hookup. I was pretty lucky there. The fish played the game. They weren't massive fish, but just on that meter and just under. So uh, it was pretty easy to keep them at the back by just keeping the boat in gear and keeping tension on both fish once they're hooked well. And uh, you know, once you've, got, once you've got them hooked pretty well, it's not too, too hard to get them to the boat. So my bag limit on mackerel is three. So one more and I've got my bag and I'll be releasing them after that. So let's see if we can get another one. And then I'll switch to doing a, a different technique from here on in. Right, I've done a couple more laps over that same spot. No more hits. So now I'm gonna pull up over that bait where I saw those fish coming through a bit higher and use a jig and put a live bait out the back. Um, use the electric on the spot lock and see if I can bring the fish to the boat now. But it was pretty lucky to get two fish on the trial there. I've only seen one other boat get one, so they're obviously not taking many lures at the moment. So we'll get some baits out and um, try a different technique. So I've got a few options out at the moment. I've got a live bait that just got taken before 
on the left-hand side here, a floating pilchard here, and another livey down deep on the bottom. The bottom rig doesn't have wire, so I'm in trouble if I don't get hit. The floater doesn't have wire, but it's a gang set of gangs. Um, and the livey over here is on a stinger rig, so that's the one that just got eaten. So they obviously want something that's moving and live. Um, I've been putting out a bit of a burly trail. There's fish coming through, so let's see if we get a hit. Some fish just came through the sounder then, so I'll get the jig down while I'm still letting this livey out. Good chance they might come up for it. Oh, we're on and we just lost one. That was on the floating pilly. Just got a hit and just lost it. Damn it. That's the hit I was waiting for. Don't like missed opportunities like that. Far out. Always when you're busy doing something else. There was some fish up high on the sounder. The bite's gone a bit quiet since I um, trolled those two fish up. Had a couple of bites on the livey and um, the floating pilly, but yeah, there's just not much action coming through the sounder. So I'm going to head in closer to um, a different uh, spot and fish for some trout on the bottom and put a couple of lines out uh, for Spanish in the same spot. So good morning, but um, yeah, definitely things are going quiet. A few boats around not catching anything as well. So time for a bit of a move. Okay, I've just made the move about three or four miles back towards the headland. Still, the water's nice and blue here. I can see a line in the distance of the dirty water line, like with a lot of algae in the water and then the green on the other side. So I'm just on this side of the of the, of the the dirty in, in the nice clean blue water. And uh, I'm in a place that's pretty notorious for coral trout. So just gonna drop a live bait in a few spots and see if we can find one and hopefully avoid the sharks that have been a bit of a, a problem of late in these areas. So let's get a bait down and see how we go. Reasonable fish on the bottom. Could be a lipper. Now I just gotta get up before the sharks get him. Hopefully it's a nice reefy for lunch. It is a nice lipper. That will be perfect for lunch today. Awesome fish to catch on the reef. That's a cracker. Nice size, probably about 50 centimeters. We will take that guy any day. Really good eating fish up there with the coral trouts and the uh, estuary cods. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely take that as lunch today. Yep, fuck, that's a good fish. Oh, it's a fucking cracker. I'm gonna get off the bottom, damn it. Oh, that was a good trout or a shark, but I reckon it was a trout. It was a big fish. Hey, what have I lost? Hooks. Mmm. Might have been a mackerel too. No shark rubbing. Big fish. Oh well, another one bites the dust. Let's try again. Oh, the floating pilly just went off. I've been putting out burly, so it's been attracting some fish. Don't go too deep, otherwise it's going to get sharked. I'm going to get this fish up pretty quick to the boat, otherwise he's going to get done. Oh, it's a good fish too. Shit. I don't have much time here. Come on. Come on. I've seen sharks under the boat. I've got to get this guy to the boat pretty quick, otherwise I am in trouble. Come on, mate. It's a good fish too. Come on, come on, play the game. If I keep it in the top water, it might be all right. He feels like he's pretty well hooked. Come on. Oh, 
That's a good fish, it's solid. <laughs> it's got some meat on it. <coughs> I wasn't expecting that to go off. It hasn't been eaten yet. I can't see a shark under the boat yet. Come on, I wanna win this one. <laughs> Every time I've come to this spot recently, I've been getting hammered by the sharks. They haven't been really giving me much of a shot. Come on, I'm winning at the moment. Hopefully they just won't come up into this top water column. And I might just get a win here. Come on. Always pays to have that floating pilchard out the back. And I just cubed up some pillies, threw them out, and it definitely attracted a fish. It feels like a Spanish. It's going deep. Don't. No, 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 no. It's going for a few runs. Oh, this could be dangerous. It's going deep. This could be real dangerous. I reckon I'm done for here. Unless I get this fish up pretty quick. <laughs> it could be a tuna. By the way, it's swimming. I've got a feeling he might have... What's he done here? It's a weird fish, this one. Not fighting like a Spanish. And it's not fighting like a tuna. Could be a spotty. I've got some colour. Mate, if I win this, it's going to be an absolute lucky day. I am going to win this. Oh, i got a half a fish. Oh, I've got a fish. Oh, it's a big mac tuna. And he's done by the tail and a shark's had a go at him. <laughs> oh, whoa. Well, it wasn't a Spanish in the end. <laughs> the shark has had a good bite out of this guy. Oh, I want to get him up so he can have a look. be able to tail him from here as long as my leader doesn't bust. There we go. Look at that. The shark's had a good swipe at him there. Good chunk out of his side. <laughs> but he managed to obviously have enough speed to get away from the shark. <laughs> but uh, look at that. That's a bit of an injury. He's not going to be faring too well when I send him back down. I'll try my luck again with a live bait floater out the back, which hopefully doesn't get another Mac tuna. I went over a nice lump before, so I'm just going to float this livey back towards it. Didn't see any sharks on it, so fingers crossed. Yes. There's a reefy off the bottom. Oh no. Oh, has that got a shark then? Oh, am I still winning? Come on. Something happened then, it changed. And got really heavy. I'm going hard on this thing, whatever it is. Come on. Come on. It's just hooked really weird. Oh, this could be a big trout. It is, it is, it is, it is, it is. Come on. He's hooked in the belly. Come on. Yes. <laughs> that is what we wanted. <sighs> a trout on a livey on the bottom. Beautiful. <laughs> My first one for the season in the summertime. And I thought that one was gone, it felt like a shark, but luckily, using that two hook rig, the snood rig, the second hook's got him in the side there. The first one's popped out of the mouth, but I've been really lucky there to get this guy <laughs> off the bottom. And that kind of completes my trifecta this morning. Spanish mackerel, sweet lip, and coral trout. 
<laughs> That's a good morning. I reckon I'm going to head into the river and meet some friends for a barbecue. Well, that bite's gone a little bit quiet now after that last trout. Um, the wind's picking up a little bit and there's a bit of a barbecue happening inside the river. So I'm going to pull up stumps, head in, set up on the sand, have a swim and uh, cook up one of these fish, probably the, the lipper. I reckon I'll save the mackerel and the trout for tonight. But uh, we've got a bit of a barbecue set up, so we'll get some fish cooking and uh, have a feed. Uh, it's been a pretty good session. I mean, different techniques, the live baits, got two good fish and the trolling lures got the other. Um, wasn't much happening on the jigs today, unfortunately, but um, I think my time will come as the weeks roll on and the fish get a bit more aggressive and uh, in more numbers. So uh, all in all, good session uh, and we'll see you next time I'm back on the water. <laughs>